just get it, man. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to be on here and just talk about whatever. Mm-hmm. Consciousness, mental health, that's really my big passion. I feel like I'm like so close to you. Like, give hey. me a hug right now. We're so sure. close. Yeah, we're so tight. Like, close. We're like right next to each other. That's right, but, man. Uh, just like uh, consciousness, uh, perspective. So what's your take on consciousness? <clears throat> My take on consciousness is that I don't actually have a take on consciousness. It's the paradox of everything. Wow. Because I am consciousness. Therefore, consciousness doesn't think. Consciousness is us right now, just here with Mike, with Trevor. Yeah. And it it has no ability to actually think. So me, I am just pure consciousness. I have a thinking mind. And I let the mind do what it does. Amen. But me as consciousness views the thinking mind Mm -hmm. in a non-judgmental way. And I just, I let it be. So I just think that we're so caught up in thoughts and thinking. There's a lot of suffering involved. And uh, I just feel like the pandemic really opened our eyes to mental health. And now we're, we're in like the, the post, the post world war two of mental health awareness Mm -hmm. and so i started to write a book on my own mental health struggles and consciousness and what i go through and just um was able to touch just different stuff so what's your view on consciousness i think uh consciousness is is is, is being able to exist right right? Uh, uh, uh being free spirited, right? Uh, uh, I think the idea of consciousness is uh, removing the I, mm. right? Uh, if you was to uh, go back in time, as far as like, uh, let's say, uh, uh, cultures wise, right? I can't speak for the entire African continent, but uh, uh, in Africa and some parts of Asia, uh, in some parts of Africa, some parts of Asia, the belief in the, the content of, of the conscious mind, meaning that uh, uh, we as a whole, can uh, exist in Ubuntu, right? In South Africa, they call it Ubuntu. That's the meaning of consciousness, that we are interconnected mm. as people, right? Yeah. And I think uh, when you meet uh, mostly every African, they will give you that happy vibe, right? Because of Ubuntu, we're interconnected. We, we, we share the same values, we share the same dreams. And we, uh, for, for, for some folks from Africa, it's more about like a we are um, uh, nothing happens unless we uh, 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 exist as people as one in order to move uh, uh, this world forward, mm. right? That that's my take on consciousness because I grew up that way, thinking that we are all interconnected uh, mm. as far as like the trees, the skies. For 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 Africans, uh, some Africans we believe in ancestors. Um, uh, 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 ideas, meaning, uh, for example, they'll say you look like your grandfather. Probably your, your re- reincarnation, mm-hmm. reincarnation of, of, of your grandfather, mm. right? So that itself, just understanding that um, that uh, we are not just here by ourselves. We're here as the human race, right? Like Ubuntu. Yeah, mm, that's what I think. What do you think, bro? No, Bantu, I'm to get my ideas up. <laughs> okay. on that same wavelength, mm-hmm. um, I would say you can even argue that we're not even human because we're all just a soul. So we're just mm-hmm. in these bodies. These are the vehicles that, we're, that we happen to be in right now. So we're all just a collective soul power. And I like how you said there's no I. Yeah. Because I really feel that. I try to get away from that. Mm-hmm. It's something that I... If you really, if you, if I just close my eyes and I just try to sit, sit here and meditate and I try to find the eye, I'm not going to find it. I could, I could, I could look all day for the eye. Yeah. I'm not going to find it. And and I think in uh, this society, as far as America, American society, right? We have created this individual society where um, people are all about me, 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 me. I must do this by ourselves. You know, like American American society is like an 
in Ben mind, solely one, right? And if you travel overseas, like you go to Japan, Korea, uh, South Africa, Liberia, Ghana, uh, you don't exist as the I. You have to exist as a collective. Mm. That we as a collective can create mm. something greater and better. But in American society, it's more about independent mind, individualism, right? And when you go overseas, collectivism, we mm. as a whole, as a entire family. entity, right? As a family can build this great dream together. So that's what you see with an Asian girl or Asian dude, right? When they do it, when it becomes successful, they're not becoming successful for themselves, but they're becoming successful for, for their somebody, entire yeah. family. Right? Same thing with the African culture. We have to do it for the clan. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all about the clan. Yep. It's all, yeah. yeah. No, that's, mm -hmm. that lends into some stuff I want to talk about tonight where mm -hmm. I feel like if we're talking about mindfulness, mm -hmm. uh, the most powerful mindful practice is selflessness. That's so right. We look for all these mindful practices and Yes, it's great to meditate. I meditate as much as I can mm -hmm. just to realize that there's really no goal of meditation and just to be instead of the trying. It's the trying where all the suffering is. We're yes. trying to change the thoughts. We're trying to change the mood. Mm -hmm. um, it's just this um, appreciation for selflessness, mm -hmm. which what you're, you're talking about yeah. in African culture, mm -hmm. Asian culture, yeah. where if you really want to practice mindfulness, I would say start with wake up every day and mm -hmm. really pray for selflessness because selflessness gets you out of the thinking mind into the frontal lobe and it's, it allows you to get away from this fake idea of the self like you're talking about that's right so that's selflessness right. in african culture is big african culture is big on proverbs mm -hmm. and like uplifting and i feel like american culture is so embedded in jealousy individualism uh yeah. you know how can i make someone else feel bad for what i've accomplished or this and that because success mm -hmm. it's the paradox of life like the yes. more i try to get to be successful the less successful i will be Fashion. so i really just focus on it's all a paradox too Fashion. i focus on i'm gonna try mm -hmm. less in order to like when you're when you're looking for a woman and we've all encountered this <laughs> right in 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 life mm -hmm. when you're on dating apps and you're out there looking and really pushing hard most of the time, I feel like when you just kind of take a step back, the right woman will come to you. That's so true. it's like when you try hard, you die hard. That's right. So I really believe that it's just allowing the brain to flow, just allowing harmony to come to be where life will just unfold message. naturally. Right. So that's really kind of the message I wanted to talk about with you. And you have yeah. this insight on different cultures. Facts. And so like in Liberia, mm -hmm. uh, like what's the stance on mental health? Like how do they, Liberia. yeah. So Liberia have been through 14 years of civil war. And I think uh, the government, be it previous government or past governments, since uh, 2003, they have not managed to focus on mental health. And I think after the Civil War, a lot of Liberians, young Liberians, um, that happened to fight the war, uh, have not uh, been through this process of healing. Mm. So uh, giving that, that's why I'm so happy right now with the current president and with uh, Biden administration. You're trying to create like a war crime court for the people who give those young child soldier weapon mm. to face trial, right? But as far as mental health, I think Liberian government, right? The current government should focus more on how to create a space for the past child soldiers, right? Who been through civil wars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, a safe place where they could go and, and heal. Because I think the society, after 20 years, it's been, it been 20 some years since 2003, Liberia civil war ended. And, and now, uh, the country is still traumatized. If you're mm -hmm. online, you can see it. That's why I try to stay away from Liberia politics. I post about positive things to enlighten the young people in Liberia 
and 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 how to bring about some form of healing, right? Because I think uh, just existing and being selfless and, and sharing your ideas, like going back to selfless, right? Yeah. Sharing your ideas and 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 uh, sharing wisdom with alone is being selfless, right? Because yeah. in Ethiopian culture, what you know, you teach, mm. right? Same thing in Liberian culture. A wise man is a man that knows nothing, yeah. right? Wise man is a man that's constantly learning, constantly learning new things, right? Yeah. So selflessness is 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 is, is, is uh, it, it, uh, in order for anyone to uh, let's say heal Liberia, they must be selfless and take a step back and try to understand uh, those past traumas and stuff like that in order to move the country forward. Because I think I think Liberia is still stuck in the past, giving. Uh, 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 the act of the uh, civil war, mm. yeah, yeah. That's what I think, mm. and I think we're not so big on mental health. I think sometimes when people are losing a little bit, they say, "Oh, that person is crazy. That person is crazy, right?" We 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 shown off people who have uh, uh, mental issues and stuff like that. I think um, if I was to ever work in Liberian government, I'm not I'm not praying for it. I don't want to, <laughs> but if I was ever working in Liberian government. I will implement a plan where we could focus mainly on mental health because without our mind, there is no country, right? Without the mind, there is no country. If young people can lose their mind, they'll lose themselves and they will lose their country. You know, you know, so healing, every healing of a country starts in the mind, right? Once the mind is fully healed, then you see progress. Like for as far as South Africa, uh, those developed African countries. Sure. Uh, uh, Nigeria, Ghana, they're moving forward at a rapid pace is because they have managed to work on their mind. Mm. The mind is the most powerful tool. It's a solid weapon. Once you can use that weapon to um, uh, not just better yourself, but the thing, f- how, the thing about how to move your society forward, that's the most important thing. And I think that can also apply here in America that we need to work on our mind. Our mind have held a lot of things back for, not be it here in America, be it in Liberia, all over the world. The way we think have the power to keep our society static or move it forward into the future. And, and, and I, earlier at my work, I was telling these young kids from Regis, University, uh, Regis High School, and I told them that uh, you young Americans, you are the future of this country. Mm. You are the next Obama, you are the next Biden, but you cannot get to that future unless you see that future. You know what I mean? So it all starts with the way we think. And from our thoughts, time our action, uh, and from our action to craft our behavior. So Dr. King talked about a man's character is much more important, right, mm. than, the, than the color of the man's skin. So a character always speaks. Exactly. Yeah. Who you are, yeah. Yep. Sure, yeah. So I got a question. So... Um... Mm-hmm. You said Liberia went through the Civil War, right? Yeah. Ended 2003. There was another country that went through Civil War mm-hmm. uh, in uh, Rwanda. Rwanda, yeah. And look at where they are now. Yeah. So you're saying is the big part of how where they got to now mm-hmm. is mindset. Mindset, yeah. So every, I think every, even even like the Great United States, right? The Great United States became what it is once the forefather laid down that foundation, right? The forefather of, of America laid down a solid foundation for the next generation that builds on it, right? Mm. Uh, but if you read if you read the writing, it's all about the mindset. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And they said, whatever happiness means to you, you figure out what happiness is to you, right? Individualism, right? Which have crafted this great country called the United States of America, right? It's all about the mindset. And I think the reason why Liberia is where it's still at is because of the people's mindset. And after the after the Civil War, I've caused all the trauma. People have not moved towards progress. They're still stuck in the path and doing things that is holding the country back. And it will not take America to fix that. It will not take China to fix that. It will not take United Kingdom to fix that. It would take Liberians to fix their own country. Mm, yeah. yeah, interesting stuff. The change starts at home. It don't try. It don't start. You know, someone coming in. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Good question, Mike. I think <laughs> Mike, Mike. My goal is to learn any person I interact with, any, even any animal, is to mm-hmm. learn something from them. From a mm-hmm. two-year-old to a 92-year-old, mm-hmm. I can learn something from them. Every interaction in life is a learning experience. Learning I'm learning course. from you, mm-hmm. from Trevor, from Mike. Mm-hmm. I, I learn from a two-year-old toddler on the street, from an 89-year-old geriatric. Mm-hmm. I learn... That's my goal. 
because I've gone through my own spiritual path, mm -hmm. severe OCD, just what like getting trapped in the mind, trying to find these answers. Mm -hmm. And so I see things as like, instead of trying to use the mind as a way to find answers, let's step out of it. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's consciousness. That's yes. why I look at answers as the opium to the mind. Mm -hmm. I look at realizations as the Narcan. Yeah. Once you can like when I, when, so full disclosure, like some of us here, uh, microdose on psilocybin for mental health, wow. right? Yeah. And I, and I do too. Psilocybin mushrooms. Oh, yeah. And I, did, and I just recently, <laughs> no, don't cut it. Okay. Why would we cut it? This, I for sure. I did it. We're, mi we're microdosing on psilocybin. <laughs> it's, de it's decriminalized in Denver, but we're not using it to get high. We're using mm -hmm. it for mental health. And that's why I said to Mike, like, you feel more lucid. You're able to, let's say, Henry, this is your kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. Hypothetical. You're walking around one day in the morning. And you just, you're stuck, stuck like in the head thinking about what is my boss going to tell me today? What plans does he have for me? What's on the agenda today? What's for lunch? What am I going to say to this person? What email am I going to send? And then in that you stop and realize how absurd that is. Mm -hmm. You're just here. You don't need to find the answer. Mm -hmm. So that's really what I push is like. Let's try to step away from the thinking mind a little bit. And so when Mike took the microdose tonight, I was like, you know, can you see like just how like you're just here? Mm -hmm. So let's like instead of focusing on what is <clears throat> or what could be and what was, let's just focus on what is. And we're just here. I think, like right now, I'm just here with you. Mm -hmm. We're here together. I think everything exists in coalition with the universe, right? When we... Um... Well, we try to figure out what will be or what is, then we stop living. Exactly. Because right? no... if you, it's a pressure, right? We, we always try to pressure the mind and create problems. That's why sometimes yes. some dudes be like, does she like me? Or, 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 uh, or what do we call it? Uh, or what does she think of me, right? Yeah. Because you're pressuring the mind. But once you step away from, oh, I don't care if she likes me or, uh, Whatever she thinks of me, that's what she thinks of me, right? But I'm going to be who I'm going to be, and I'm going to love myself, right? Because when, because human beings have this energy. There's this energy of, of, uh, of beings, right? But I think when we try to question everything and, and, and we're going into the what if and what not, and we um, create this illusion mm -hmm. that sometimes, um, um, that sometimes, um, uh, what am I trying to, what the word I'm trying to say? Uh, it's an illusion. It's a yeah. dream-like state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that sleep is the cousin of death. But okay. I think... I'll get to that later. The lack mm -hmm. of sleep is actually the cousin of death. It's not wow. sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the thinking mind that we're like walking around in a dream. Yeah. Like what you're thinking right now, mm -hmm. it's irrelevant. What I'm right. thinking, mm -hmm. it's totally irrelevant. Mm -hmm. I'm just here with you. Yeah. That's, that's us, dude. I'm looking at your eyes right now. That's actually you. Facts. Yeah. What you're thinking, what I'm thinking, what he's thinking, mm -hmm. who gives a shit? It's a dreamlike state. We get, we get so caught up in like, what do they think? Yeah. Most people walk around all day, every day. I do. We all do. Yeah. But it's that ability to like, just step out of it mm -hmm. with however you want to do it. Meditation, mm -hmm. microdosing, art, mm -hmm. like art. Yeah. You have to step out of it. For mental health we're not gonna you're not gonna find the answers like it's like pac-man mm -hmm. like you know eating the pellets mm -hmm. those are answers that's rumination that's worry mm -hmm. i'm willing to live in like unknowns and not know what the hell is gonna happen tonight or the next second or what i'll say it's just the flow it's harmony flow life, it's yeah. just let it let this shit unfold it, yeah like like bruce lee said something that's very powerful bruce lee said you have to take the ship of water be like water, wow. right? Right? It is. Be like water, yeah. That's why I named my book Flow is Being. That's mm -hmm. gonna be the title. Mm -hmm. Because I see the mind as a bunch of different river channels. Mm -hmm. And it's us building these dams to like interject and find out the reasons. Just let it flow. I don't mm -hmm. see good or bad thoughts. 
I, I just, think I just see thoughts. I think people who walk around thinking, "Oh, do they like me or do they not like me?" They're pressuring their minds, right? We walk through life saying, "Do Johnny like me or do uh, Kofi like me or do Selma like me?" Then you're pressuring your mind, right? Once you free yourself from, I don't care who likes me, I don't care what Selma says about me or whatever, and just live in pure existence with the universe. That's how you find yourself. You can't find yourself when you pressure your mind. Yeah. Pressure in the mind comes from, do they like me? Preach judgment, right? You're judging yourself before others judge you, right? You People who do that, they become dictators, right? You cannot judge yourself bef before others judge you. Great leaders exist in harmony with the universe, right? Whatever takes, uh, whatever takes course to follow, right? That's what great leaders do. But people who live in their mind, they are, um, uh, they're like a prisoner of their mind. So they're stuck in place and time. And, and, and sometimes when they cannot break that cycle, that's how dictators are created, right? But if you walk through life, like, like Bruce Lee said, you got to take the shape of water and, 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 and go with circumstances wherever it leads, mm -hmm. right? That's what create gr great leaders. Uh, uh, Dr. King, JFK, whatever is the circumstances, you must be ready to face those circumstances without no prejudgment in the head. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, that's that's what create great leaders. If you ask me, yeah. mm -hmm. how, I'm sure a lot of people would would ask the question, how do you get there? Right. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's the, what what most people struggle with is how, how to reach you, that state. You know? Facts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I would like to yeah. touch on that. <laughs> the how is always the tough. The one. how. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the how is um. I think once we come to ask how do we do how do we get from A to B, then we're not gonna get there, right? Getting there is just doing, right? When you question, it's good to question because King Solomon said you must walk through life questioning everything. That's how you gain wisdom, right? But if you want to purely exist in pure consciousness, there is no question, right? There's nothing to There's question. There's nothing to question. You just got to take action just towards it. Yeah, just, just be. Be, yeah. And I be think, free. And I think enlightenment is not somewhere you get to. Or mm -hmm. like one day if I meditate this amount of time mm -hmm. or do this amount of steps, mm -hmm. we're all enlightened. I think you just notice it. Facts. I honestly just think it's just like the noticing. That's Facts. my big thing is like peace is not mm -hmm. something like... I'm trying to find peace if I can just get peace. Like my job is stressful. Mm -hmm. I need to go outside to find peace. No, mm -hmm. I could just like this right now. I could just stare at it and that's peace. Facts. Like it's just the, the act of noticing. So I just try to notice. Facts. So we're all actually enlightened. We've always been enlightened. Yeah. We've always known these answers. We just, some notice it, some don't. So that's Facts. my big message is like, Enlightenment is not something we're going to obtain. We just notice it. Yeah. That's why some people, when they question, uh, when they question those uh, religious texts, right, it's kind of like, uh, uh, it's okay. sometimes it's okay to question everything. That's how you gain wisdom, like I said earlier. But um, I'm trying to get some of this. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to think of what I, I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an in infinite topic. Yeah, I, such a simple question is like infinite answers. I mean, if you're staring at a tree in nature, do you need a description of it, or can't you just like absorb it? Like, I think we're so addicted to description as humans. Right. So, like, do I need the brain to tell me that's a tree, or can I just observe a tree? Facts. Like, do I need a text to tell me there's a God, or can't I just feel God? That's true. I think that's all. I think God that's is everywhere. Is. Like, yeah. we don't need to question reality and text, mm -hmm. just, it's here, just be. Just be, yes. That's so true, like, yeah. words are very, honestly, useless, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't need to tell you shit right now, mm -hmm. and we can know what's going on, we can like, feel it, the energy yeah. in the room, like, Facts. we use words too much, and we're all artists, we love to write, we love to make music, music movies. but we're addicted to it. Mm -hmm. So like, do I say, like with movies, do I say, what are you gonna movie tonight? <laughs> you'd be like if I said that to you you'd be like what the fuck you mean <laughs> I look at that 
<laughs> I look at that as thinking. Like, what are you going to think tonight? I don't think. I see thinking. So, mm-hmm. like, you see movies. Yeah. So why don't we say, like, what are you going to... What are you going to see your mind thinking tonight? Instead of, like, why does it have to be me thinking? Fine. So... I don't know. I think like like with religious texts. Yeah. I stay away from it. All right, Facts. So, so Drew, so like when you see a tree, like what do you what do you see? Just like a, I don't have to describe. Yeah, I, I just see it. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm I'm I just be, and then it teaches me to just be, because mm-hmm. like I could just say, oh look at that tree, look at the look at the bark. I wonder, roots. I wonder what, yeah, look at the roots. I wonder who touched the tree or when this tree, like, that's the mind. Or I could just be like. I think nature itself is conscious, mm-hmm. right? Is conscious. Nature is conscious. You know, um, um, sometimes I think as we developed, uh, this great society became what it is, right? You start having people going to all the people to fix your problem. I had to go see a therapist. To fix my problem. I just see a doctor to fix my fucking problem. <laughs> the greatest therapist is everywhere. The tree, yes. the moon, you know, the ocean. Yes. Yes. It's yes. the greatest therapist. It so is. you don't need to go to no uh, doctor or... or <laughs> That's why I love Bob Marley, right? Because you don't need to go to nobody to fix you. In order for you to fix yourself, you must... Um, Come to realize that no one else will do it for you. It you gotta look to yourself to fix yourself, mm-hmm. right? You can't look anywhere else. You know, I think as we develop, we start believing in man and believing in the things that were created for us to absorb, to love, to to taste, to smell, to just exist in harmony. Yeah. And you go to the east; it's big in the east, right? Yeah. In in Eastern culture, I exist because of this or because of that. Okay, you gotta live in harmony with nature because. All these things were not put here for nothing. You know what I mean? So we go to men for we go to men for everything for uh, our diseases, our our, our we go to men for everything. Then we 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 try to then we were removing um, what we put here. Mm. So yeah. we, we make men to be the god of of our own consciousness, right? Because all the for to find our consciousness, sometimes we must look to nature. I'm sounding like a Chinese dude now, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you guys were just in Pagosa Springs like a month ago, right? Yep. I mean, that's yep. A natural hot spring. Natural, yep. Relaxing. <laughs> that yeah. the Maybe. benefit the benefits from yeah that is <laughs> innumerable like for sure. Hell yeah, man. Hell um, yeah. another thing I want to talk about. It's probably the last topic for this. For sure, for We're sure. Prob- this is probably close to the end, right? For sure. Uh, perspective, like. Just an idea was uh, if we go to Colfax right now, like the dirtiest part of Colfax, Mm -hmm. and I just take a piece of like I scoop out some dirty ass dirt. (laughs) How much? How much will that go for at auction? Nothing, man. (laughs) If if I take scoop up that dirty ass piece of dirt and went a billion light years away in another planet, how much would that dirt go for? Everything that they could pay for. Facts, yeah. Because. It's from a whole different planet. It's alien, right? So that's a perspective. Like everybody on this earth has so much value. Mm -hmm. It's just the perspective Mm -hmm. that we put on it. Mm -hmm. And I think also man created everything, right? Man gives things meaning. Uh, um, uh, I think man gives things meaning and we come to believe those meaning as a reality for us, right? But once you come to remove yourself from all those meanings, like man-made. black, white, Asian, mm. Puerto Rican, this, that, it's all man-made, mm-hmm. right? In reality, yeah. Yeah. people just want to exist in love. Right. That's why you find a brother with a white girl. We could have a whole you know podcast what I'm saying? on like, the word division and war. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you see how I can over there?